This is MMA Outbreak. Okay, today's second fight on the Oddsbreaker segment comes to us from UFC on Fox 4, the headlining fight between Shogun Rua and Brandon Vera. Now, another competitive matchup, but a decent favorite in Shogun Rua here. We're going to start off with Frank this time. I'm going to open it close to 3-1. to one. Who is going to come in minus 290? The comeback on Vera is going to be plus 220. Give me your thoughts and give me your bet. You know, I'm taking Rua to win this fight straight up, but the value on Vera is actually pretty good. I think Rua wins this fight, but if i got to lay money down and bet the size money is what I'm laying down, I'm going to go ahead and put it down on Vera. Because you never know what kind of very you're going to get coming out of it. Now, he hasn't done very well in the past. When he first came out, he's going to be the heavyweight champion. He was going to win that for a little while and cut weight and go down and be a 205 champion. And he failed miserably at both. He's just undersized when the bigger guys came in. And he just isn't able to handle that kind of weight. He's better at 205. I think he has a better shot. And really, Shogun has been slowing down. He's been getting knocked out a little bit and getting knocked around quite a bit. I'm not sure how he's going to perform, even though it is down there in his home country. I'm just real nervous about how we're going to see who will show up. Even though he is the favorite, and it is kind of scary whenever you, you're fighting Hua, I'm really interested in what kind of Vera we're getting, so I'm definitely taking Vera and I'm laying the money on him. I'm picking Hua to win the fight, though, but i got to lay the money down on, on, uh, on Vera. Okay, so from a betting standpoint, you do see some value in Brandon Vera. It's going to be 500 to win 1,100. Now let's throw it over to Matt Brown. Matt, do you agree with Frank on this one? Uh, no, I mean, if I'm going to lay the money, I'm laying it on Shogun. I think Shogun wins this in a walk. If you look since 2007, I mean, Brandon Vera has been a 500 fighter since 2007, and his wins have come over guys that a lot of them not even in the UFC anymore, Reese Andy, Michael Pat. I mean, all the name fighters that he's fought, granted, they are the names of the names, John Jones, Randy Couture, uh, you know, even Fabricio Verdum, back when you start talking a little bit later in his career. But every name fighter that he's fought, he's lost. He's lost to pretty badly. And you look at his wins recently, I mean, the Tiago Silva, that's a no contest, really a loss. Elliot Marshall's his only last win in the last couple of years. I think Shogun Hua wins in a walk, but Frank made a really good point. Shogun took a beating that last time out. I mean, sometimes, sometimes one fight can turn a guy, you know, and, and that was that Dan Henderson fight was was uh really bad on his on his on his chin, his head, and everything else. So we'll see how he comes back out, but I still think Shogun wins in a walk. Okay, so you are going to risk 1450 to win 500 on Shogun Hua over Brandon Vera. So both of our guests disagree on this one once again. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. I want to thank our two special guests, Frank Trigg, and from Heavy MMA, Matt Brown. As always, jam-packed with great information. They split on every fight. Real great show. And for the latest updates, make sure you check out our new website, MMAOddsBreaker.com, or follow us on Twitter at MMAOddsBreaker. For Miguel Arrate, I'm Nick Galicas saying until next time, enjoy the fights.